pastoral charity and a special source of spiritual fruitfulness in the world. By living in this state with total dedication, moved by a sincere love for Christ, who is our Lord, you are consecrated to him in a new and special way. By this consecration, you will adhere more easily to Christ with an undivided heart. You will be more freely at the service of God and mankind, and you will be more untrammeled in the ministry of Christian conversion and rebirth. By your life and character, you will give witness to your brothers and sisters in faith that God must be loved above all else, and that it is he whom you serve in others. Therefore, beloved brothers and sons in the Lord, I now ask you, in the presence of God and the church, are you resolved as a sign of your interior dedication to Christ to remain celibate for the sake of the kingdom of God and in lifelong service to God and mankind? May the Lord help you to persevere in this commitment. Amen. My sons, before you, you will eventually be ordained deacons. You must also declare before the people your intention to undertake this office. Are you willing to be ordained for the church's ministry by the laying on of hands and by the gift of the Holy Spirit? Are you resolved to discharge the office of deacon with humility and love in order to assist the bishops and the priests and to serve the people of Christ? Are you resolved to hold fast to the mystery of faith with a clear conscience as the apostle urges us and to proclaim this faith in word and action as it is taught by the gospel and by the church's tradition? Are you resolved to maintain and deepen a spirit of prayer appropriate to your way of life and in keeping with what is required of you to celebrate faithfully the liturgy of the hours for the church and for the whole world? Are you also resolved to shape your way of life always according to the example of Christ, whose body and blood you will give to the people? Come on, Nanya, the Agate, the King, the Gazio Funofu, Niru Nanya Archbishop, Sebula and Niri, Gualaka Hana, Bochinia, and Aka, Quayan and the Gano Chitania, and Quan Sopolo, Nilu Bisi. So the candidates will now proceed one after the other, kneeling before the bishop, placing their hands between those of the bishop to formally pronounce the, their fidelity to the promises they have just also called out. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment.
Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. So this symbolic gesture of placing their hands between those of the bishop is a way through which each of the candidates is affirming his readiness to discharge the ministry that is being conferred upon them in obedience, in filial trust and obedience to the bishop and his successors. By so doing, they are promising to carry out their work in the diaconate order as fellow co-workers with the order of bishops, not doing their own personal will, but doing the will of the bishop to whom they should be loyal. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. For our viewers from Rome, Italy, Weloke Sister Facendo, a.k.a. I candidati per la ordinazione diaconare fanno un segno di obbedienza al vescovo e a tutti coloro che seguirono dopo di lui il fatto di mettere le loro mani dentro quelle del Vescovo è un segno e il modo con cui i candidati dicono al Vescovo che io sono totalmente obbediente a, totalmente obbediente a te e a tutti coloro che seguirono dopo di te. È un segno molto, molto simbolico, molto storico. Ne la chiesa dopo i diaconi il candidato al sacerdote anche ripeterà la stessa cosa lui verrà davanti al vescovo per promettere la sua obbedienza a lui. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to your local ordinary and his successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment.
adesso è ora per il candidato al sacerdote di fare la sua promessa al Vescovo. Lui, come i diaconi, dirà al Vescovo che sarà molto fedele, molto obbediente a lui nel compiere il suo lavoro come un sacerdote. Lui anche farà la promessa di predicare la parola di Dio secondo la, l'insegnamento della Chiesa, essendo fedele a tutto quello che la Chiesa insegna. Anche lui farà la promessa di essere fedele e reverente quando compie i misteri della Chiesa. L'altra promessa è quella di pregare per il popolo di Dio che viene confidato a Lui. E poi Lui farà anche la promessa di essere sempre unito a Gesù Cristo tramite la preghiera costante tramite la preghiera quotidiana. Know what you are doing. Imitate the mystery you celebrate in the memorial of the Lord's death and resurrection. Make every effort to die to sin and to walk in the new life of Christ. When you baptize, you will bring men and women into the people of God. In the sacrament of penance, you will forgive sins in the name of Christ and the Church. With holy oil, you will relieve and console the sick. You will celebrate the liturgy and offer thanks and praise to God, our loving Father, throughout the day, praying not only for the people of God, but for the whole world. Remember that you are chosen from among God's people and appointed to act for them in their relationship with God. Do your part in the work of Christ, who is the priest, with genuine joy and love, and attend to the concerns of Christ before your own. Finally, my beloved son, Conscious of sharing in the work of Christ, who is the head and shepherd of the church, and united with the bishop and subject to him, seek to bring the faithful together into a unified family and to lead them effectively through Christ and in the Holy Spirit to God our Heavenly Father. Always remember the example of the good shepherd who came not to be served, but to serve, and to seek out and rescue those who were lost. Now, my beloved son, before you proceed to the order of the presbyterate, Declare before the people your intention to undertake this priestly office. Are you resolved, with the help of the Holy Spirit, to discharge without fail the office of priesthood in the presbyteral order as a conscientious fellow worker with the bishop in caring for the lost flock? I am. Are you resolved? to celebrate the mysteries of Christ faithfully and religiously as the church has handed them down to us for the glory of God and the sanctification of Christ's people? I am. Are you resolved to exercise the ministry of the word worldly and wisely, preaching the gospel and explaining the Catholic faith? I am. Are you resolved to consecrate your life to God for the salvation of his people and to unite yourself more closely every day to Christ, the high priest, who offered himself for us to the heavenly Father as 
a perfect sacrifice. I am with the help of God. Kensley, do you promise respect and obedience to me and to my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. So, we have now come to the end of the examination of the candidates. Now we shall begin the next stage, which is the litany of supplication. All of the candidates to be ordained, both those for diaconate and those for the presbyterate, will now lie prostrate on the floor of the altar. A symbolic gesture of their total submission to God. Why they do so, the litany of the saints is sung. This is a very important aspect of today's liturgy. This prayer will ask for the intercession of the saints in order that God may look favorably upon those to be ordained. A prayer will follow afterwards asking the Holy Spirit to pour upon the candidates the fullness of his gifts. While these prayers are being prayed, the faithful are equally invited to join with their own private prayers for the candidates. My beloved people, let us pray that the all-powerful Father may pour out the gifts for our viewers following us all the way from Italy, at the so si fa la litania de supplicazioni, tutti i candidati che saranno ordinati verranno e poi si mettono per la tela dell'altare. Quando fanno questo, si inizia la preghiera della litania dei santi con cui la Chiesa chiede l'intercessione dei Santi e l'aiuto di Dio per quelli che saranno ordinati, si chiede specialmente i doni dello Spirito Santo per questi nostri frateri. Adesso vi collego tutti alla preghiera. Maria Mata Dei Ora Pro Nore Tante Micael Ora Pro Nore Tanti Angeli Dei Ora Pro Nore Tante Ioannes Batista Ora Pro Nore Tante Iosef Ora Pro Nore Santi Petre et Paule Ora Te Pro Nore Tante Andrea
Sancte Perpetua et Felicitas. Ora te produis. Santa Agnes. Ora produis. Sancte Gregory. Sante Augustine, Ora pro nobis. Sante Atanasi, Ora pro nobis. Sante Basili, Ora pro nobis. Sante Martine, Francisce et Dominice, ora te promis. Sante Francisce Zavia, ora promis. Sante Ioannes Maria Viani, ora Santa Catarina Senensis, ora pro nobis. Santa Teresia a Iesu, ora pro nobis. Omne Santi e Sante Dei, ora te pro nobis. Santam, regere et conservare digneris, terodatos animos, ut donum apostolicum, et omnes ecclesiasticos ordines, in santa religione conservare digneris, Ut hos electos benedicere digneris. Ut hos electos benedicere et sanctificare digneris. Ut hos electos benedicere et sanctificare et consecrare digneris. Teodamus 
Uts cum tis populis, facem et veram, concodiem donare dicteris. Ut nos met ipsos, in tuo santo servicio, convotare et conservare dicteris. Lord our God, hear our petitions and give your help to this act of our ministry. We judge these men worthy to serve as deacons and priests, and we ask you to bless them, make them holy, and make them worthy. Grant this through Christ our Lord. We are now about to begin yet another important part of today's event, that is the laying on of hands. The gifts of the Holy Spirit is now confirmed upon those to be ordained by the laying on of hands and the prayer of ordination. All the priests, all the candidates for the diaconate and priestly ordination will move one by one before the bishop who will lay his hands upon them in silence. This is a very symbolic and traditional gesture in the church which symbolizes the fact that through which those to be ordained receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. After the bishop has done that, all the priests present will equally do so. By doing so, they are affirming in keeping with a long tradition of the church that those who are ordained both to the diaconate and to the presbyterate are one with them in the priestly fraternity of the Catholic Church. That is the right of the laying on of hands going on 
after the candidates for the diaconate ordination have presented themselves before the bishop for the laying on of hands, the candidate for the priestly ordination will equally do the same. For our uh, Italian viewers who are following us all the way from Europe, quello che si fa in questo momento è il gesto, il gesto con cui si implora, con cui si infonde i doni dello Spirito Santo su tutti coloro che vengono ordinati. Questo è un gesto molto storico, molto simbolico nella Chiesa. Dopo che il Vescovo lo fa, anche tutti i sacerdoti che stanno qui lo faranno. In questo modo si espressa il fatto che coloro che vengono ordinati saranno ordinati e entrano nella stessa fraternità sacerdotale della Chiesa Cattolica. Quindi saranno la stessa cosa nella stessa comunità dei sacerdoti. Dopo quello dei candidati per la ordinazione diaconale, colui che sarà ordinato un sacerdote anche si presenterà davanti al Vescovo che ripeterà lo stesso gesto per lui. Anyine ga kuluzi otoketa nda ga chidikin ga sebulan Almighty God our Father be present with us by your power you are the source of all honor you assign to each his rank. You give to each his ministry. You remain unchanged, but you watch over all creation and make it new through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. He is your word, your power, and your wisdom. You foresee all things in your eternal providence, and you make due provision for every age. You make the church Christ's body grow to its full stature as a new and greater temple. You enrich it with every kind of grace, and you perfect it with a diversity of members to serve the whole body in a wonderful pattern of unity. You established a threefold ministry of worship and service for the glory of your holy name. As ministers of your tabernacle, you chose the sons of Levi, and gave them your blessing as their everlasting inheritance. In the first days of your church, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, the apostles of your Son 
appointed seven men of good repute to assist them in the daily ministry so that they themselves might be more free for prayer and for preaching. By prayer and the laying on of hands, the apostles entrusted to those chosen men the ministry of serving at tables. Lord, look with faith and favor on these servants of yours. Look at their faith and with your favor touch them whom we now dedicate to the office of deacon to minister at your holy altar. Lord, send forth upon them the Holy Spirit that they may be strengthened by the gift of your sevenfold grace to carry out faithfully the work of the ministry. May they excel in every virtue, in love that is sincere, in concern for the sick and the poor, in unassuming authority, in self-discipline, and in holiness of life. May their conduct exemplify your commandments and lead your people to, imi to imitate their purity of life. May they remain strong and steadfast in Christ, giving to the whole world the witness of our pure conscience. May they, in this life, imitate your Son, who came not to be served, but to serve, and one day reign with him in heaven. Father, we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Stand up, because I can so, with this prayer of ordination, these uh, brothers have effectively become deacons in the Roman Catholic Church. So, as you can see, they will now be vested with the uh, deacons regalia, that is the stole and the diamat uh, dalmatic. With which they we with which they we use to discharge the various aspects of their ministry. So the Almighty God has once again demonstrated his love for his church by granting us the gift of yet another set of deacons, 18 in all, 15 belonging to this archdiocese, the archdiocese of Onitsha, two belonging to the diocese of Manfe in the Cameroons, and then one belonging to the Vincentian order to God be the glory. So henceforth we can now rightly address these young men as deacons. We can rightly call them without fear of being contradicted, Reverend Victor Adibe, Reverend Akabogo Clement, Reverend Alisigwe Kevin, Reverend Emmanuel Anazong, Reverend Martin Atonkon, Reverend Ignatius Ezomoka, Reverend Mebalo Emmanuel, Reverend Emmanuel Dife, Reverend Mwabungwane Elijah, Reverend Ofoka Frederick, Reverend Okafo Francis, Reverend Okabo Francisco, Reverend Honora Bonaventure, Reverend Franklin Onyekwe, Reverend Roger Tata, Reverend Pascal Udaja, Reverend Umelechi Henry Charles, and Reverend Wadinobi Emmanuel. Right now, the book of the gospel is presented to them. With this book of the gospel, they will discharge their duties as preachers of the word of God in 
collaboration with the bishop. The diaconate ministry in the Roman Catholic Church is especially connected with the ministry of the Word of God. Normally, when each candidate kneels before the archbishop, the bishop will address him in this ways, receive the book of the gospel, believe what you read, preach what you believe, and practice what you preach. And these solemn words summarize the whole essential of the diaconal ministry. So once again, we give God all the glory and adoration for raising these young men, these are brothers, to the enviable order of the diaconate in the Roman Catholic rite. To God be the glory. For uh, viewers from Italy, quello che si fa in questo momento è che si presenta il libro del Vangelo a tutti questi nostri fratelli che sono stati già ordinati diaconi. Il libro del Vangelo è lo strumento molto importante per il ministero diaconale. Con questo libro, i questi nuovi diaconi predicheranno la parola di Dio in comunione con i Vescovo. Questo è una parte importantissima del ministero diaconale. Dopo di questo, anche il candidato che sarà ordinato al sacerdote si presenterà davanti al Vescovo e tutti gli altri riti anche saranno spiegati. Nel frattempo, Ringraziamo Dio per questi doni dei nuovi 18 uomini giovanissimi che sono stati ordinati oggi i diaconi. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you now are. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. ndi diki na echi lofu ka gazi na eba kwa dolo haka hanolu onye age echi uko chuku ka apotazi niru archbishop so the candidate for the priestly ordination we now present himself before the archbishop like the candidates for the diaconate ordination the bishop is going to lay his hands on him and by so doing we implore for the gifts of the Holy Spirit upon him. All other priests here present will do the same. By so doing, they are affirming the fact that he who is ordained to the Catholic priesthood is ordained into the traditional, traditional priestly fraternity of the Catholic Church. Why this is going on, the faithful is invite are invited the faithful are invited to remain connected to the prayers of the bishop with their own personal prayers Come to our help, O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. You are the source of every honor and dignity. 
of all progress and stability. You watch over the growing family of man by your gift of wisdom and your pattern of order. When you had appointed high priests to rule your people, you chose other men next to them in rank and dignity to be with them and help them in their task. And so there grew up the ranks of priests and the offices of Levites established by sacred rites. In the desert, you extended the spirit of Moses to 70 wise men who helped him to rule the great company of his people. You shared among the sons of Aaron the fullness of their father's power to provide worthy priests in sufficient number for the increasing rise of sacrifice and worship. With the same loving care, you gave companions to your son's apostles to help in teaching the faith. They preached the gospel to the whole world. Lord, grant also to us such fellow workers, for we are weak and our need is greater. Almighty Father, grant to this servant of yours the dignity of the priesthood. Renew within him the spirit of holiness. As a co-worker with the order of bishops, may he be faithful to the ministry that he, has, he will receive. Lord our God, may he be to others a model of right conduct. May he be faithful in working with the order of bishops so that the words of the gospel may reach the ends of the earth and the family of nations made one in Christ may become God's one holy people. Father, we make this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Okay, you best see it. Oh. So with this conclusion of the prayer of ordination, our brother here present. Reverend Kinsey Lomeni has effectively become a priest of the Catholic Church in the order of Melchizedek. He will now receive certain implements with which to discharge his priestly ministry. So the bishop will now anoint his hands, his palms. As he does so, he is to say, the Lord Jesus, whom the Father anointed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, guard and preserve you. So this anointing is a symbol of the anointing with the Holy Spirit, which took place through the imposition of hands and the prayer of ordination. It also symbolizes the priest's distinctive participation in the priesthood of Christ. With these anointed hands, the candidate who has just been ordained, a priest, will anoint the people of God, whatever it is that he touches and invokes the power of God through the Holy Spirit, that thing effectively becomes a consecrated object. We give God thanks once again for granting the Archbishop Archdiocese of nature the gift of yet another praise, Reverend Father Kinsley Ebuka Omeni.
shortly the archbishop will present the bread and wine as symbols of the duty of the newly ordained priest and imploring him to always offer the sacrifice of the Holy Eucharist and to follow the example of Christ. Why doing so, he will equally address him in these words, Receive from the people of God the gifts to be offered to God. Know what you do, imitate what you celebrate, and conform your life to the ministry of the Lord's cross. Father Kingsley, accept from the holy people of God the gifts to be offered to him. Know what you are doing and imitate the mystery you celebrate. Model your life on the mystery of the Lord's cross. So, with this presentation of the bread and wine contained in the pattern and the chalice, the bishop is effectively telling the newly ordained priest that your ministry is tied closely to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist, in which bread and wine are transformed into the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, we continue to thank God for granting us the case of new ministers in his vineyard, 18 new deacons, 15 from the Archdiocese of our nature, two from the Archdiocese of Manfe, and one from the Vincentian order, and then one new priest for the Archdiocese of our nature. To God be the glory. So because of the COVID-19 protocols, the traditional kiss of peace, which is normally exchanged by embrace, is now exchanged by the raising of elbows. So these are the faces of the newly ordained, the newly ordained deacons and the newly ordained priest. 19 young men in all who have today said their yes to God. To God be the glory. Nigabugotihonye, for our viewers who are following us all the way from Italy, in Wolfi Candidati Sono Stati Gia Ordinati, Dicciotto Uomini Che Sono Stati Ordinati Di Aconi, Un Uomo Che Anche Stato Ordinato, Un Prete, 
Ringraziamo Dio per donare alla Chiesa nigeriana i doni di questi nuovi ordinati 18 uomini che sono stati fatti diaconi. È un uomo che è stato fatto il sacerdote, che tutta la gloria sia a Dio, che tutto il ringraziamento sia a Gesù Cristo. Adesso si entra nella parte della liturgia eucaristica. So we are now entering into the liturgy of the Eucharist. The people of God we now bring forward from the back of the church the gifts to be offered to him, which the bishop is going to receive in company of the newly ordained priest and the newly ordained deacon seated by his right and left respectively. So for those who just joined us, I'm sure it might interest you to know the names of the candidates who have been ordained. Like I said before, there are 18 young men who have been ordained deacons. Reverend Adibe Victor from Obosi, Reverend Akabogo Clement from Oroku, Reverend Adisigwe Kevin Chinonso, from Akokwa, Reverend Anazongu Emmanuel Ikechuku from Onicha Town, Atemkon Martin Blanco from the Manfred Diocese, Ezemoka Ignatius Chidozie from Ibuko, Megualo Emmanuel Ndidi from Omonya, Ndife Emmanuel Onyedeka from Nzam. Mwabungwane Elijah Nabwenyi from Aguleri. Mwa Ofoka Frederick Ndubisi from Oruku. Oka for Francis Ikena from Oketiti. Oka Bo Francisco Chidebere from Oruku. Onora Bonaventure Chukwemeka from Imilikienu. Onyekwe Franklin Okechuku from Okozo. Roja Tata Sunde from the Manfred Diocese in Cameroon, Udaja Pascal Chibwikem from OKTT, Bume Elechi Henry Charles Ndubweze from Obodoku, Wa Dinobi Emmanuel Chidebere from Ihite Uboma. These are the newly ordained deacons, 18 of them. And then the candidate who was raised to the order of the Catholic priesthood, who currently is studying in Rome, in Italy, but came back for this important event, Reverend Father Kinsley Ebuka Omeni from Omonachi Town. So we thank God for the wonders he has, he has done in the lives of these our, our brethren, we pray that the ministry which they have received today, they may discharge it faithfully, that the good Lord will continue to assist them at all times with the grace to do so.
sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Holy Father, whose Son chose to wash the disciples' feet and so set us an example, accept we pray almost Domino de honor, strong. 